Okay, let's talk about reading keepographs and finding products that do sell on Amazon. So let's go into this little um, this little uh, thing today. Okay, so we're gonna directly talk about Amazon sales. So let's type in that Sony Walkman. The first thing I do to start finding products I can sell, um, first know that you're ungated by these things. Um, the ungating, ungating you go into, here, let's find a product. So if I wanna see if I'm ungated, click on that product. The goal is to find the ASIN. The ASIN is in two spots, one up top in the title right here. It's this little guy, whoops, my mouse fell off right here. This little guy, I'm gonna copy this right now. Or it is on the, by the de product description. Product description, where are you? Right here. Or it is right, bam, right here. Not bad. Okay, it's actually it's moving pretty quick. So what we're gonna do is check that Amazon, check that Amazon, boom, type it in. This is your seller central. And check listing limitations. I can only sell this in used condition. I cannot sell this in new condition. You're not approved to list this product. We can't even try to get approved. I'm approved to sell a lot of Sony things, but I guess not this one. I can sell this used condition, which that is still a good thing for me. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back. I can think, okay, I can sell Sony stuff in used condition. Let's think about it like that right now. Even though I can sell a lot of uh, other Sony, Sony things, I'll just check multiple and see what I can sell and what I can't sell. I'm going to go into my the Amazon. I'm going to back here, and I'm going to use my Jungle Scout. Um, Jungle Scout is in below. It's kind of special, like 100 bucks, but it's well worth the money. It's just the Chrome extension that you want. You don't want anything else. Everything else is kind of garbage, um, in just my opinion. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see the monthly and daily sales. This is the best way to help find things that are selling more than five a month. But we will buy things that will sell one a month. We will buy things that sell two a month, three a month, four a month, five a month. Doesn't matter how much it sells. As long as it sells, we will buy it. Um, and a lot of used things won't show up as well. But we're gonna check Jungle Scout and be, oh wow, there is a lot of things moving. Sales, 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 sales. A lot of things are selling. And those things are not selling are this thing right here, which I think this is, this is the one we just talked about. Okay, so we, we know all these are selling. I'm gonna even load even more, and I'm gonna go into one of these, I'm gonna go in the high def one. Um, it's gonna start loading all these things up. I can sell all of these items. So a thing you can do to kind of speed this up is you can go to menu, you can go to download CSV, and it's gonna download that whole CSV. If you wanna, you need to load as many products as you can, download a whole CSV so you can grab all those products on there. Um, you, can kind of, you can kind of check a lot faster. Put that in an Excel spreadsheet, and it will make things 10 times faster. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit slower, make it a little more hands-on for you guys. So I'm going to click in this photo here, and let's let's start reading these graphs. So let's say oh, I'm not really sure what I want to buy. It says uh, keep a graph says it has it's moving, um, yada yada yada. Our journal scout says it's moving, so let's check the keep a graph, right? So we can see a few things. Let's start reading this keep a graph so you guys can understand it as best as possible, right? Let me clear. All right, so let me clear things off. This uh, blue line, the blue line is new items that are selling, right? Sometimes it's not even catching it, right? So there's there's one thing that's not catching it. I think it's up here. It might be just like somebody's trying to hide it or it's just not picking it up, right? For whatever reasons. It looks like Amazon's selling it. That's pretty, probably the reason why they're not showing um, the data on it. Because Amazon's selling it. That's the big deal. Right? So that blue line is Amazon. You'll see a larger blue lines right here. All right, the blue blue line is users that are doing FBA or FBM that are new. Not Amazon. This yellow line is Amazon. So that's if if you're inside this yellow line, it means you repeat with Amazon, right? Um, this black line here is the used offers. That means people are saying I'm used, right? Um, awesome. Same, it collates the exact same on the bottom. This black line here is the used offer count. How many people are selling this on Amazon? Same with the new. So there's two people selling on Amazon, three, three, zero, no one, one, two. Yeah, no, you, you guys get the gist, right? On the bottom here is the sales rank. The lower the sales rank, the better in main categories, right? In main categories, the lower the sales rank, the better, right? Um, also, whenever it dips down, whenever the sales rank dips down, it means it's a sale, right? So if it's at 
number one, if it's number one, which means the fastest selling product in that category, it's gonna be a straight line, right? If it's uh, 1,000, it's gonna be a lot less smaller ones because it's moving so many at a time. So it's keeping that low ranking. If it's 100,000, you'll see giant dips, right? Giant dips for each sale, every time. There'll be a giant dip. We'll, we'll show you, uh, there's a couple of lows and we'll show you, but we'll get the gist. So this means this is a fast moving product, right? It has a sales rank of four, three to 4,000 in electronics. It means it's moving a lot, three to four to $500, uh, 500 units um, a month, right? So it's moving pretty quick. Also this use line, what I'm checking out is how much um, motion, that's a good word for it, motion it is in the use and new offer counts. If I look at the u the new offer counts here, I'm thinking, okay, some it's still selling a lot because um, the Jungle Scout's picking it up and it's low sales rank. But it means there's only three people competing on this and it could be a reason because no one wants it is Amazon's on it, can't find the product, it's hard to find, right? But I'm also looking at this use. The use, the most important data is how much is jumping up and down. Like all these jumps up and down are very, very good, right? You can say like right here, there's a lot of competition. It's staying at, there's a lot of sales, a lot of competition. It's staying relatively available and good price and people are selling out. You can even see in here, like obviously you want the lower to be the better because it means the less people are competing. And you can see it starting jumping up here, which means there's a lot, there was a lot of people right here that bought a bunch of these, or that were selling a bunch of these, and then, then now they're starting to drop off pretty hard, actually. But you can see the price tanked as well. Supply and demand, guys. The supply goes up, the demand goes down, and the price starts to decrease. It's the same thing with everything. If you can find, if you can find a used product that has one unit going out, right? It only has one unit, um, and it sells a thousand times, it's gonna be moving a lot, and it's gonna be a high price, right? So we gotta think about like that, right? So that if I want to get this buy box, <laughs> well, if I want to get the buy box and new or used, I want to be the lowest price. Amazon values the lowest price better than anything else. You can you can be the lowest price by one penny. That's what we do. We're, we're, we're the one penny people. I don't care what people say about that, but I, I lower the price by one penny continuously. Um, it slows it down and we can maintain that cheapest because if you're the cheapest you're gonna have the most reach on on amazon it's not like ebay guys it's not like ebay where your your product quality can really show because amazon everything needs to be in good quality shape so we're kind of we're kind of at an even playing field in terms of quality level so the price is where you're competing on all the time that could be good or it could be bad however you pick it right so this product i'd be like okay if i can buy it at 10 bucks used i'd buy it right um i just kind of know there's a lot of people playing in this field um also, we can go check into right here. Prime it. I only always do Prime just because it is the best by far to sell things. Um, Amazon, look, you can see Amazon's warehouse. They have one of these left. So they probably got a return and then trying to re. Bigger than one on top and sides. Yeah, so this is all this is saying that all right, it's use acceptable, use good, use acceptable. They're they're up there, so they're gonna they're gonna be the first ones on 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 um they're gonna be the first ones on uh on top. Somebody's gonna buy this Amazon one before they buy yours, or they're buying use all the time. So you need to be the, you need to be Amazon at this price, lower it a penny, and you're golden, right? That's the overarching goal with this. So if you're gonna buy used, you're gonna buy new, you gotta be the lowest price. So make sure you are, our software does it anyway, but make sure you are buying it at the price that it is the lowest, because then you can always make money. You don't wanna buy this thing at 50 bucks so you think you're gonna compete with a better a better version, right? You wanna be the lowest price all the time. Um, so that's how we are going to, uh, that's how you read a keep graph, right? Um, if any questions, comments, concerns, like, comment, um, subscribe. Again, um, we're just jumping this as much as much stuff as possible can out to you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, email us and we'll get to them like we're doing this one. Thank you. Peace.